Hello everybody, today's video I'm going to show you how to protect your slingshot so that you do not have to worry about damage being done to the fork tips. Uh, fork tips are very nasty to slingshot, some say it gives a character, but if I can avoid that character I would like to. So I've kind of come up with a little easy method that I'm surprised I haven't seen people do before. Um, you see, I've wanted to shoot this slingshot for quite some time, but I haven't really wanted to so bad that you know I'm going to risk getting fork, fork hits to it. Uh, so I, I come up with this little method, I've used it on a few of my slingshots. Um, I haven't seen anybody really use this method and I'm quite surprised, so I hope that everybody will share this. Um, I've seen new people being told not to buy slingshots because of the damage that they will do to them. And I, I thought, well, why can't, you know, that kind of sucks, right? Like, you know, why not buy something you desire and be able to use it, right? So this method will help those people. Um, we can't control every square inch of how this rubber was made. So you can cut some bands and they can be different out of one sheet of rubber, right? So so that can cause a fork hit, you know, so even for, for people with plenty of experience. I myself have had a few uh, slingshots that I'd rather not have done damage to on the forks. So, you know, we're just going to switch over here and I'm going to show you what I've been doing to some of my slingshots to stop getting fork hits. And the great thing about it is, is I can do it to this one and then finally use it without worrying about fork hits. So I take my slingshot and I get a guesstimate of the size of the fork tips, or I measure them. I then want to get my double-sided tape. I cut a piece off. Once I cut that piece off, I cut those into two strips that will equal the size of my slingshot's forks. But I don't want to put them on just yet. There's one more step. So the next step, I want to take my microfiber tape. I want to put it on the slingshot fork. I want to bring the microfiber tape all the way around the fork. Just one time is all it needs. You can do however many times you want, but I just go one time around so that it covers the bottom part, the bottom part of the uh, microfiber tape itself. I'm going to get scissors. I'm going to get scissors and uh, snip that like so. And then I will need two of these. I then have two pieces. First, I just want to explain that you want to make sure that your tape is large enough to cover the entire area of your fork tip. Then what I do is I take the tape and I want to be flush against both the edges. That way, once I put it down, it'll go this way. It goes this way on there. And then I bring it around. And then, oops, a little too tight. There we go. Bring it around and it covers itself. And that essentially is what it's holding onto itself, right? And I'll do the next one. So just for a quick demonstration, I just want to show you that I put the tape flush on the top of the fork so that it doesn't interfere at all with my bands. Right? So it's just there to serve its purpose of protecting the forks. So shooting slingshots is fun. It's also way more fun if you protect your fork tips. You take the fiber. This one I'm going to go this way just to kind of keep it symmetrical. All right, so now that I got that, what I want to do is I want to get the double-sided tape. I want to put that on top. I want to take off the sticky film, the non-sticky film. Once that's done, I want it level, level like that. And I don't want the wrap to go above the forks. And then I go like that. So simple. So simple. So simple. It's not even funny. Now that tape, it's thick enough where it's going to protect. It's going to actually protect the fork tips. That's actually more or less what's protecting these more so than this fabric. So I no longer have to worry about significant damage being done to this slingshot on the fork tips. How awesome is that? Share, like, and subscribe. So as you can see, this is not a complete solution, but it is definitely something that will help. I've even used it on a TTF frame as well. This will even work with round wooden forks. It is so helpful indeed that I've done it to more than one of my frames.